Welcome to this episode of Action Vasco. It's been a couple of episodes now, so I decided I'll give this YouTube series an official title. Today we're going to be um, looking at my latest diorama, which is a Punisher hideout diorama. And I'm really excited to show you guys, so let's get into it. This is a 112 scale uh, action figure diorama that I designed to be a Punisher hideout. And before I get started on describing it, just want to give everybody the 360 view of this. Got a sort of a brick exterior look, some bullet holes, a couple of different design elements to it, but mostly. Um, just the fact that it's a battle damage scene here. Um, so I'll get the Punisher out of here for a minute and um, just describe this to you guys. Uh, the whole thing is magnetized and so um, these, these uh, cinder block walls come off where you can see there's some, um, there's some debris and different uh, things that have come off during the battle scene um, that are down here on the ground. These are actually foam pieces and then, believe it or not, cat litter for some of the smaller stuff um, that's just been glued down and then sealed. I've got uh, turf or flock um, for some sparsely, um, kind of sparsely uh, distributed grass here on the, on the front yard area of this. And um, then you just got the... Uh, some windows here with uh, with metal bars so that people can't easily get in, and a um, a um, balsa wood door uh, with a doorknob and door frame and all that stuff set up. So um, this stuff here is actually skinny foam. The uh, the entrance walkway here is skinny foam. Uh, the rest of this is pink foam aside from the balsa wood door and uh, also have a brick walkway here. The entire thing is um, sealed with Mod Podge so that the paint doesn't um, wear down over time or chip. And then I also have a uh, removable um, roof here, which is just a flat roof that you could position some snipers up on or any, anybody else that you want to have a battle scene with. We got the exterior of the building here, and I'm going to show you guys the inside of the Punisher hideout. 
So first we'll take this off and the back wall and I'll show you we've got some bullet holes and dust and things like that up on the wall. And we'll get the punisher in there. Um, so inside is supposed to just look like sort of a beat up old um, kind of like a living room setup but a small one at that. And um, since the Punisher's, you know, hidden out here, um, he also has a hidden uh, floor artillery spot where he's got several different. Um, these are just dollar store guns that are that work with the 112 scale, um, so that easily goes in and out. And um, got the hardwoods here, um, so. You know, it's it's uh, could probably do some some interesting things with photography, uh, take some cool shots. Another thing that I think I'm probably gonna end up doing is building a small table, maybe maybe getting some small living room type furniture just to put in here. So uh, gives me some more options with the toy photography. Um, but basically, that's that sums up the inside here. Thanks for watching this episode of Action Vasco. Please like and subscribe if you like this video so you can stay up to date on my latest projects. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at Vasco Toys, so please follow me there. Um, thank you guys. See you later.